So hello everyone, I'm again back with this new tutorial which is all about a numerical solving. The last two tutorials we have discussed what is Schroeder Phillips equation, the oxygen sac curve equation isn't it? So we have, I have separated these two equations uh, into two different tutorial classes because it's a lengthy process and also the video limit is also very, you know, it is a matter of concern. Anyway, so today we are supposed to discuss and we have to solve a numerical based on the Streeter Phillips equation and the oxygen sac curve. Okay, so before again I start this hour of uh, sorry need of the hour, we have this life boy hand sanitizer. So I'm supposed to sanitize my hands and then do whatever else is needed. So yeah, so. There you go. Yeah. So today's new uh, tutorial is all about problem solving, and uh, I'll tell you before I begin with this class, uh, it's better if you keep a paper, a pen, and also a set of graph paper, a normal graph paper ready with you. Even if you do not keep a graph paper, that's not an issue because you can automatically, like you know, have a rough, rough idea over here. But definitely you should have a rough paper when you're seriously taking down the note okay and it's better to take the rough paper all at once because once you start taking the note it's like pointless to again come back to the same tutorial and take the note complete it once at a once for all okay so let us write down the numerical first okay focus there you go yeah now this numerical just write down CT discharges uh, CT discharges 15,000 meter cube per day of untreated sewage I'm reciting this thing I'm like you know narrating these things giving a dictation of this because as many people have been facing the resolution is very very bad if you are using a mobile device to see my tutorial that's why i'm like dictating this problem so please follow my vocal orders okay a city discharges 15000 meter cube per day of untreated sewage into a stream whose minimum flow is 3 meter cube per second now please understand this uh, we are having focusing issues here please understand this very fact it out here it is given 15,000 meter cube per day and over here it is 3 meter cube per second so whenever you will put these values into in any formula whatsoever so please take care of this thing one is in meter cube per second the other one is in meter cube per day now the data given are this is an important portion because there are many data given so take down very carefully data number one is BOD5 at 20 degrees centigrade this is how you write the thing okay BOD5 at 20 degrees centigrade of untreated sewage is 200 milligrams per liter BOD5 at 20 degrees centigrade of stream is 1 milligram per liter so two data one is 200 milligram per liter for BOD 5 at uh, of untreated sewage and the beauty 5 of the stream is 1 milligrams 1 milligram per liter temperature of stream and waste water is 28 degrees centigrade it's 28 degrees centigrade all right saturation do 
is 7.92 milligrams per liter next is initial do deficit that means initial dissolved oxygen deficit is 2 milligrams per liter i i hope every data is clear numerics of every data is actually clear over here as per the video it is there i don't know and i recommend you everyone please use a laptop for high resolutions because in laptop it is shown that you can stream at 480p but in mobile devices you are streaming at 240p which is very very problematic to understand okay initial there is this then we have k suffix r at 20 degrees centigrade which is 1.15 day inverse or you can write down like this also 1.15 per day the unit of this is this okay kr is the reoxygenation constant and the last data is kd at 20 degrees centigrade which is the deoxygenation constant it is 0.23 day inverse or 0.23 per day so this is again going to be a uh, around 20 minutes video session now there are so many observations which you can make right from this equation right from this very uh, sorry, not equation right from this very data you can make observations just look at the data over here the bod of untreated sewage and the bod of a stream can you see the treated the stream which is supposed to be a river is having much much lower bod compared to this because the concentration of waste products in any sewage the concentration not the amount the concentration is much much higher in case of any sewage compared to streams because in streams it get, just gets diluted so you have a difference in the bod concentration next you have this kr and kd data as you can see the reoxygenation is 1.5 1.15 per day and the kd is or uh, the deoxygenation is 0.23 that means the, the rate at which oxygen is coming into the system is much higher than that the rate at which the oxygen is leaving the system this very factor this this being greater than this it makes or it, it this is the healing power of nature this the refilling power of nature is much much more higher or much much higher than the depletion power of nature so this is why we are still alive and this is the reason why we have can still fight okay so enough of philosophy no it's not philosophy it's actually interrelated to everyone okay let's solve the problem As usual, I am known for my colorful pen and colorful use of ink. Now, there are again, I'm telling you more observations. As you can see, every data is given in 20 degrees centigrade. Out here, it is 20 degrees centigrade. Out here, also, it is 20 degrees centigrade. But in this case, the working temperature, as you can see, is 28 degrees centigrade. So, the KD values, whatever is given, you can see the KD value, KR value, all these things are given in 20 degrees centigrade. But the working temperature is 28 degrees centigrade so what we have to do is since all this data is invalid at 20 degrees centigrade whatever is at 20 degrees centigrade is invalid in 28 so what we have to do we have to calculate or we have to rather find out the equivalence of all this data this one two three four at 28 degrees centigrade 20 degrees centigrade pe agar ye hai to 28 degrees centigrade pe kitna hoga? we have to just find it out okay so we have different equations and formulas just stay tuned for this okay now what is the uh, sorry uh, let's write down like this okay for waste water or sewage we have a condition what is the flow it's nothing but how much is 15,000 meter cube per day isn't it and what is the flow over here uh, sorry uh, it's a bod over here so we can just call it a q uh, w okay since it is the uh, flow of water or the flow of wastewater bod 5 20 degrees centigrade where is always represented as y so y w we can call it as which is how much for the wastewater it is this thing 200 ml this is a lengthy problem so please do not lose focus okay next for stream 
What is the flow over here? The flow is QS, which is how much? 3 meter cube per second. And what is the BOD? I'm not writing the entire BOD over here. BOD 5 at 20 degrees centigrade. I'm not writing. Y stream is 1 milligram per liter. Now, as you can see, the BOD uh, units are similar, but not is the case for this. So we have to convert it in any one of them. Either you convert this to meter cube per day or you convert this to meter cube per second. So let's convert this into meter cube per day or whatever. Since equal to 3 meter cube day mein kya hoga? into 1 by 60 is minutes into 1 by 60 is seconds. Sorry, seconds the minutes, minutes hours, hours say days meter cube per day so I just forgot my calculator over here so anyway it's given 259200 meter cube per day okay So when, so we have to do characteristics at two different positions, uh, not two different positions, two different conditions. Now what will happen to the resultant mixture? For example, this wastewater gets mixed with the stream. So what will happen to the resultant mixture? What will happen? What will be the resultant BOD of this thing? Exactly what we need to find out. Okay. Therefore, we can write down BOD, oh, oh the focus here, yeah. 5 at 20 degrees centigrade of mixture is nothing but QW into YW plus QS into YS by obviously we need to keep this we have to find this now Y of the mixture isn't it so the Y factor needs to stay so what will happen we have to just divide it by Q factors QW plus Yes. This is the weighted average equation. So it's 15,000. I'm not writing the data as some units over here. 200 plus 259200 into 1. Plus. Again, according to my previous y of the uh, I mean previous notes the BOD 5 of the mixture which is 5m I think but 5 at 20 degrees centigrade is nothing but how much it's 11.89 please check the data okay Now, these are all in 20 degrees centigrade and mind you this is the 5 day data. So what we have to do is we have to just convert this into ultimate data. Okay. Now finding ultimate BOD. That means what? Why not at 20 degrees centigrade. So you all know what is the formula of BOD y is equal to y naught into 1 minus e to the power minus kd into t isn't it now this is nothing but y5 so if this is y5 the t also becomes obviously y5 and y5 is already known to us this so this is known 5 is known kd is known from the uh, i mean from the problem can't we find out this so we have to just find out this y naught is equal to ym5 at 20 degrees centigrade i'm telling you this is just lengthy minus what is kd over here it's 0 0.23 into 5 again according to the equation we have y naught is nothing but 17.4 milligrams per liter 
I should use a different color. Hang on, I forgot to bring out the red pen. Mind you, this is at 20 degrees centigrade. I'm still stuck at 20 degrees centigrade. Every calculation is at 20 degrees centigrade, as you can see. But whereas the working condition is always 28 degrees, 8 degrees centigrade. So whatever we have calculated is actually invalid till now. So what the, what is the only way out of this? We just have to convert this at 20 degrees centigrade to 28 degrees centigrade. So what we will have a Y naught value at 20 degrees centigrade. Similarly, we will have a Y naught value at 28 also. So we have a formula for this, which I'll show in the next page. focus where are you yeah so please note down this formula l naught suffix t is nothing but l naught at 20 degrees centigrade into 1 plus 0 0.02 into T minus 20 so this is the formula for conversion okay now what are the formulas over here oh, sorry what are the values over here so since we are considering this T as 20 degrees 28 degree at 28 degrees centigrade so every T will be 28 degrees centigrade so what will be the equation looking like L naught at 28 degrees centigrade is equal to what is L naught at 20 degrees centigrade from the last equation uh, last value we have it's 17.4 into 1 plus 0 0.02 into 28 minus 20 simplified as or L naught at sorry I said yes is 20.4 one eight four milligrams per liter. Twenty eight degrees. Uh, uh, sorry, it's twenty point one eight four milligrams per liter. Now anybody can question, sir. In the last equation, we were considering y, isn't it? It was y, and y all of us are in cell. It's just a representation. So in some equation you are representing it as l. In some equation you are representing as you are representing as y. So it's just just the representation. What we are more concerned about is the values, not the expression. We can write x, y, cock, how, or work a job, whatever you want. Okay. So that is not the point. The point is this formula. This formulation is constant no matter whatever is the value. So we are finding, we are about to find. And you can see in that oxygen sac curve equation or the street of Phelps equation, we have the L0 factor. Now slowly we are going into the equation. What are the remaining two factors which needs to be found out, which is nothing but KD and KR. So first step by step, we'll find out what is KD equivalent, what is KR equivalent. Okay. Now give a heading. Finding... KD equivalent. This KD equivalent will be discussed in the next tutorial class because it's already 18 minutes and as you know, you all need a break. So see you in the next tutorial class, okay? Goodbye.